After five years on the run, Natika Lee got a five-year prison sentence last week for the death of Daisha Phillips. In 2015, Lee gathered several women in a hotel room at the Lambert St. Louis Airport and gave them liquid silicone injections to enlarge their butts and hips. 22-year-old Phillips died four days later, after the silicone migrated from the injection site into her lungs. In a separate case, Gladys Saron of Lawrence, Massachusetts, just pled guilty to running an illegal injection business for 15 years. Like many backroom injectors, Saron told clients that she had a license and lied about the contents of her injections. Neither Lee nor Saron had medical training, and they were injecting people with silicone oil, an industrial lubricant and sealant. The FDA hasn't approved silicone oil or any other injected filler for body contouring. These injections have caused disfigurement, blocked blood vessels, stroke, and death. Silicone oil can harden or move around the body. That makes removing it difficult, and in cases like Miami DJ Betty Pino's, deadly. Cosmetic procedures are increasingly common, and people will always pursue their beauty ideals. That's okay. But we found silicone injection deaths in 13 states. Each and every one of these people was valuable and loved, and no one should have their life cut short by these dangerous unlicensed treatments. If you or someone you love is considering a cosmetic procedure, please be safe. See a licensed professional, only use FDA-approved treatments, and seek immediate medical care for any complications. You can learn more about how to stay safe at the FDA's website below or on our website at www.safemedicines.org.